Under the United States Code, federal district courts have original jurisdiction over civil actions in which the amount in controversy exceeds $75,000 and where there is diversity of citizenship between the parties. For diversity of citizenship to exist, a plaintiff may not be a citizen of the same state as any defendant in that matter. But what factors are considered in determining a party's citizenship? In Lundquist v. Precision Valley Aviation, we explore what happens if a party appears to have ties to more than one state. Courtney Lundquist owned real property and lived in Florida. Lundquist maintained several bank accounts in Florida and listed his Florida address on his federal tax filings. Lundquist also belonged to several social clubs in Florida. Prior to living in Florida, Lundquist lived in New Hampshire. Lundquist retained his New Hampshire property as a summer home. Lundquist was the director, secretary, and president of a corporation and filed the corporation's annual reports in New Hampshire. In addition, Lundquist was a registered voter in New Hampshire. Lundquist had driver's licenses in both Florida and New Hampshire. In 1987, Lundquist filed an action against Precision Valley Aviation and others, seeking to recover on some promissory notes. In his complaints, Lundquist claimed to reside in Massachusetts. The defendants, who were citizens of New Hampshire, moved to dismiss. They claimed that because Lundquist was actually a citizen of New Hampshire, diversity of citizenship didn't exist. Lundquist then alleged that he was a Florida resident and requested to amend his complaint. Upon hearing the party's evidence, the district court found that the action lacked complete diversity of citizenship. Therefore, the court granted the defendant's motion. Lundquist appealed. 